What is up, everybody? It is your boy Treason here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a uh, a walkthrough uh, of customs. Uh, it's going to be touching really on uh, you know stashes, uh, special spawn chance areas for certain items um, where you can find good loot uh, in certain areas, um, along with pointing out you know additional player spawns uh, where you're likely to get in engagements um, and uh, and stuff of that nature. So hopefully this guide helps you guys out with survivability and profitability um or maybe it just helps you with something you may not know about i'm still learning every day so uh we can all try to help each other and uh and you know and, uh, and take over talk off together so without further ado let's get this rocking uh i do stream on twitch every day so the link for that will be in the description below so hope to see you guys there let's get into customs and we'll all right so let's get this popping all right let's get this situated first okay so, we spawn next to uh, Sniper Checkpoint, Stab Checkpoint, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, first things first, there's going to be a stash located right there on my left. There's going to be a couple spawns uh, that uh, are pretty close. There's one next to water right over here. There's another one behind me going uh, a little bit past the substation. Should have brought a clear. I can't see anything. Alright, so first stash is going to be located right here behind this dumpster. Right here. So from here, I'll kind of move along the sniper ridge line. Uh, there is a sniper scout that's spawned up here on the ridge line. You, uh, you should be fine typically you want to engage but it's kind of hard to spot. Uh, so it's going to be a little weary of that. Oh, nice, the rain's starting to die down. That's good. So, uh, a lot of areas in which you, uh, you can get to engage in this here right off the bat. Um, water is a big one, which I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, reason it's called water, at least if, you know, for me, I find a lot of water filters, FP100 filters, stuff of that nature in there. Um, this building ahead, these areas, uh, typically it's called you know double boilers or double big. Um, scabs can spawn in between those. It's going to be the next stash right here. This is called admin. This is also going to be an extract. Next stash is actually where I found my, uh, my Twitch Rivals uh, band last wipe um, <clears throat> when they were still available to find caches. Uh, next one's going to be right here. This is going to be one of your extracts if you spawn on the opposite side of the map. Right here. you got to be careful sometimes people camp in these bushes. I think it's one of, one of these trees you can actually get into too, so kind of nerdy. This is water. Um, and here you have a couple of different spawn areas. You have this chest that can spawn uh, gauges, uh, cyclones, batteries, anything of that nature. You can also find water filters and FP100 filters there on the ground. There's also going to be two jackets, a chest, and two computers upstairs you can loot. I always recommend hitting all the jackets. You can always find great keys in them. Next stash is going to be right here. For whatever reason, this one's not hit very much, but another really, really good stash. It's building up ahead is going to be sleeping scav. You can find a bunch of crazy stuff in Sleeping Scab. Typically, this is kind of unlooted. Um, but you can get slicks, hexes, great armors, ammo off the Sleeping Scab, and uh, really is a pit. So, definitely a good spot to look. Next up, we are going to be at the USEC building. Uh, so, a couple of things you may not know. Uh, if you have high enough strength, you can actually shoot out these windows here and side jump into the building. And uh, you can get into the USEC stash without, uh, without needing the key. So up here first, this is going to be green room. There is a uh, GPU spawn chance right here and here. There's two of them. Uh, last wipe, I actually got a double GPU spawn right here. Two computers you can loot. This is a moonshine, vodka, and uh, food and drink spawn right there. There is a bag here, jacket here. Last wipe, I found one of my Kiba keys here, this jacket. Come into this back room here, there's two chests. One right there, one right there. Tools can spawn on both of these. You can get M scissors, uh, screwdriver, stuff of that nature. Water filter spawn right here, along with FP100. Med bag spawn here. You can always check it for uh, various stims, uh, uh, medicinals, ibuprofens, Vaseline, stuff like that, PKs. Bag right there. Move along to the opposite side here. This is going to be the roller side, as is like to be referred to as. First room up here is kitchen. Two jackets here to my right. Food and water chance spawn right there, there, and here. Uh, this is also a special spawn chance item. You can find uh, rollers, bitcoins, um, gold skulls, chainlets, uh, gold chains, stuff like that on this couch. 
Not many people know about that one, so it's a great spot. This is going to be gun room. A couple chests in here. I don't really ever typically hit it. And this is going to be where the roller and lion can spawn. You can, you can, you can find other things here, but roller spawn on the mannequin right there on the wrist. You can also get a lion spawn here. Gold chains, chainlets, stuff of that nature. Food, ammo, PKs, heels can spawn there, along with back in this room here. So I'll kind of show you guys what I would typically loot. I'm going to kind of leave out the areas that I don't, I don't find myself in very often. Um, <clears throat> maybe just the profit yield and, and kind of areas where I feel like it's wasted time I won't be touching on. Two computers here. You can also find, just right here, flash drives. A lot of our early on quests, you have a hard time finding these. So... Definitely has a good chance falling there. This time it did. Early on, there is a quest that requires you to get into a certain locked room in Gorms. The key will spawn under here. This jacket. Right there. Another food spawn there. A bag. We'll come over to the jump over here. These are areas that I typically hit on, on all of my customs routes when I'm trying to make money. Next stash is going to be located here. It's called Crater Stash right here. Now this building here also has a chance of spawning um, uh, docs cases, med cases, I found a money case to swipe. I found several wallets uh, which can also contain red key card. Uh, most recently I found a wallet and uh, I was really excited. It spawned with two yellow key cards so I was even more excited about that. It was not a, uh, not a great time for me but definitely worth hitting there. Power building's located here. I don't ever find myself in there unless I'm actually hitting the power switch. There is a moon, uh, moonshine spawn underneath in the basement. I never hit it, though. I don't like really being in power. Now, next red key card spawn. Let's pop this scav. No, We're coming to old gas here. Open up the gate. <clears throat> so it can spawn uh, rigs, backpacks, uh, various inks and spawning here, along with the chance to spawn a key card in one of the rigs. Uh, so you gotta always make sure to check that. This is also an extract if you spawn the opposite side of the map. This will be a uh, it'll be lit up with green smoke here, signifying the extract is open to take. Next spawn chance for a red key card. We're going to look at the bottom of giving tree. Spawn rigs, backpacks, you can get keys, various things here. You can also have them spawn on the ground. A lot of people get red key card. I wouldn't know about that. I've never found it here, but it is there. Next spawn for a cache is here. These are, again, all areas that I hit in all my runs. I typically like to work my way from the outside of the map inwards. I don't like moving straight in the middle because then you increase your chances of getting into an engagement uh, being stuck in the middle, uh, which you didn't have to choose which fight to engage first and can become uh, kind of a cluster. So I like working my way outside in. Next stash is here. Be careful not to cross really past that body there. Sniper scab will start aggroing you and you will die. So it is kind of a nerd strap, but if you find yourself in a pickle getting fought here, you can run. If you have your stuff insured past that body, sniper scab will kill you. Nobody will be able to get to it and will ensure that your loot will be returned if it is insured. Next stash is right here. This area is called Porta Potty. <clears throat> Moving along into Fortress, I typically always engage Fortress from, uh, from the left side in. Uh, if you're facing it from the back of uh, Old Gas. You see there's a scav there. So we'll move into Fortress here. Scav boss is here, so I'm not going to typically, I'm not going to mess with that too much. But um, you can uh, loot this gun room there. That has also uh, two jackets um, along with uh, a couple of crates that are actually really, really good to hit. Keep moving along the side of it. Pop up here. Go up to the top. So there's a chest located here. Toolbox there. I always find uh, fuel here. Uh, you can get uh, fuel conditioners, tools here along uh, with other things. This box here uh, is great for PKs, ibuprofens, uh, Vaseline's, Golden Stars. If you're ever low on food, you can get it in this uh, chest here, food crate. I always hit that as well. I'm moving along here. You can actually jump down to this crate. That one with a kind of a nerdy uh, way to get out, out, of, out of Fortress if you're being pushed pretty quickly. 
So, we'll keep moving. We're going to go through Mechanic. Go into Crack House. This area is called Mechanic. There's a small little mechanic shop in there. Um, I always move along through it. It's a good way to push the opposite side of the map without going through the middle. There is a spawn chance for water filters up top here. Attachments down low on these tables. And uh, you can also find things in here. Uh, tools, uh, things of that nature in there. So we'll come along. We'll go into Crack House. Uh, I always hit this chest for whatever reason. It's always been really, really good to me. Um, I find a lot of good stuff in there. Water filters, cyclones, temperature gauges, um, fuel conditioners, things of that nature. In the crack house. There's spawns in here all over the place. You've got PKs on all of these tables. Morphines for the earlier on quests. Turn to the therapist. You've got augmentins, ibuprofens, uh, Vaselines. Here's also another heal spawn. Salua. There's one right here. Uh, this time it spawned PK. You'll also get them on this shelf here and right here. This is always a great room to, to hit if you're low on uh, heals. You can get IFAX, um, Salua's right there, CMS's, uh, food and water can spawn here along with ammo. Move into library. Uh, Intel can spawn on any of the shelves. It can also spawn along the ground. Um, Intel doesn't spawn too often for me nowadays, but every once in a while you do hit it and uh, it always feels pretty good. You gotta be careful though, uh, because if you open up library and you're looting these filing cabinets, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a shooter born all the way from Fortress uh, for being whether you know in nerd spot in the staircase or up top next to the MG right there. You can see you have a clear line of sight through this glass here and you get easy head taps, a lot of shooter born has gotten there. So it's a great spot to look out for. There's a gold spawn right here. Uh, you can find it in front of the sleeping scav. The sleeping scav's always been pretty good too. You always want to hit that. Armors and such. Jacket here. Sugar spawns on the table. Bag there. Come into the glass room. You got a jacket here. Sleeping scav here. Various attachments. Another bag there. You can also find things in the shelf. You got another med chest here. You can get uh, IFAX, Salua's, AFAX, uh, PKs there. Move along into office. There is going to be a jacket here. Weapon ammo there, bag there, and food and water spawn here. That's the vodka. Keep moving. So this will actually be coming up on one of our extracts here. RUAF is a guaranteed extract now. Um, it's always a good little bag to hit right there. The Jaeger bag. Coming along. Always hit the sleeping scav. It's, uh, it's, it's honestly yielded so many good things over the times I've hit it. Uh, takes a couple of seconds. You're in a bush. You're covered. You may as well hit it. Moving along. Seems to be a bunch of scavs here. Wow. I'm not gonna mess with it. Keep running along. I'll see you guys the next stash point. So we'll come down here. There's gonna be two stashes to my left. Uh, if you hit this off early spawn, coming from the side of Big Red inwards, uh, there's quite a few spawns littered along this side. Uh, so if you hit these, gotta be really careful because a lot of times people look out for it. First stash is gonna be right here. Next one is going to be located directly behind it, right here. RUAF extract is going to be right behind that truck there. Moving along. Going to be really careful going uh, going across these low lane bridges. A lot of people uh, camp on the uh, the bridge over there trying to get shooter born. So make sure you have a full stand bar before moving across it. So we'll keep moving. This is going to be the area of Big Red. Late late, uh, late raid, if you spawn opposite, it's pretty safe to go to. Um, you, know, you will actually get yourself into a fight every once in a while, but it doesn't happen too often. Uh, inside of Big Red, it actually has a couple of really good uh, loot spawns. I don't ever really hit it, uh, especially if it's early raid, just because sometimes you could run into a fight you don't want to be in, and if you get stuck up there, it can be kind of tough leaving, because uh, there's only two ways out of Big Red, that side there and this one, so you're kind of get caught in a pinch. So, first things first, we'll unlock this. Oh, I don't have my keys, sorry. But, there is a office here with two computers, uh, along with a bag. Another one here, you can kick down the door in this uh, in the trash can to the left of it. You have the uh, spawn, spawn chance for intel. I think I have actually on the lab cards. Yeah. Moving along, I've had a lot of people tell me they've gotten uh, the 
ultimate the ultra medical key, which is a, a pretty good key, is nearly it's about a million uh, at, the, at this point in time. A lot of people told me they got it from this jacket specifically. Uh, I don't know what it is with jackets in this game. I found a lot of my marked rooms from the uh, from the dorms jackets. I have my own theories, but it is what it is. They've told me they found a lot of them there, so it's a great jacket. Another weapons chest here. <clears throat> And uh, we'll be moving along to extract at this point. So these are typically only areas I'll hit during my uh, during my raid. Uh, if I get a good dorm spawn, I'll find myself hitting uh, hitting mark room. Uh, you know, for the chance of uh, you know of various uh, cases, uh, documents, uh, docs cases rather. Um, wallets to find. Uh, Key cards in, along with that stuff. Um, but a lot of the times, the loot I found there recently doesn't yield the time I invest to go there or the potential engagement while uh, while you're there. So, um, but that's kind of gonna wrap it up for customs. It was, you know, I didn't really run into anything other than scavs. Uh, however, uh, it's a pretty safe route. You can find yourself uh, making a, a quite a bit of profit if you stick to it. Have a loot route kind of planned out while before you go into the raid. That way you stick to it every single time. You don't find yourself deviating and then getting into a fight that you can't really anticipate. Um, but I hope that helped you guys out. Um, it's yielded me uh, quite a bit of profit, especially early wipe when I'm trying to come up. Um, right now, I'm mainly playing labs, but I do play customs a ton just because it's a really fun map. It's got a lot of PvP and a lot of loot. Uh, so hopefully that helped you guys out again make sure to check out the description below for my twitch links I hope to see you guys there. Hope this helped till next time